Welcome to Prophetic Witness. I'm Chip Brim, and this is Candace Brim, and uh, we are pastors of a, a glorious church mm-hmm. in Collinsville, Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. But more importantly than that, we're I'm the son of Billy, <laughs> and that's why I'm here. Uh, but we are glad to be here, honored yeah, to be here. Such an honor. Such and an honor. Uh, since she gave us this position, we or opportunity, we um, prayed about it, and the Lord has He wants us to train and help train. Yes. Uh, our calling to train uh-huh. champions. And that's when he called me, he said, it's now's the time. Right, and I said, Lord, right. how can I preach? All I know how to do is coach. And I was a very successful coach. God blessed me in coaching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, he said, well, I'm going to help you train champions for me because I'm coming right. back for a champion church. So yeah. a church with uh, the attributes mm-hmm. and the qualities mm-hmm. and the characteristics. And so all of that coaching was not for anything. Yeah, right. It was to be used in the end time for me and my calling to, minister. to yeah. help train mm-hmm. the body of Christ. Yes. To become the champion glorious church. Yes. yes. Last time we talked about composure. Mm-hmm. If you can go back and get that and watch it, mm. it's it's not a very popular uh, topic. That, but it's much needed. That you hear much about. Much needed. But it's very needed. Mm-hmm. And to know about, and it's a fruit of the Spirit, self-control. Right, right. And so we're going to talk about something today that I think in all my years of coaching, and then when I came into uh, preaching, Mm -hmm, ministering mm -hmm. in the body of Christ, fivefold ministry, I was uh, shocked that it's not talked about more, not Mm -hmm. more books, not Mm -hmm. more topics, Mm -hmm. because it's very important. Yes. And the misunderstanding of it. And what we're talking about is enduring. Mm. Good topic. Great topic. A lot of people, what if you hear somebody come and say, I have a word from the Lord for you to endure? <laughs> hmm. wah, wah, wah. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. not really what you want to hear. No. Endure. No. And we think of it like that. Like, but champions yeah. know the whys and the and the how to's yeah. and the what to's and right. how they get to yeah. endure. They know about it. Don't you think of when people hear the word endure, they think there's a picture that I remember forever, this little cat and it's hanging on a branch and it's just barely oh. hanging on that branch. Hang in there till Friday. Yes. Or something yeah. Like hang in there till Friday. That's the way people look at the word endure. I'm just hanging on. I'm just going to stick in here until I fall off this branch kind of thing. But if you stay but with this, not in that this way. you're going to find out that right. it's not that way. And no. you're going to look at it differently. Like you get to endure. Yes. And that's kind of crazy if you don't understand. Yep. But my people so perish good. for lack of knowledge. So we need knowledge on it. Mm-hmm. So here we go. Let's get your coffee, get your tea, whatever. Yep. Let's go. As long as you're living and breathing on this earth, you are going to have opportunities to endure. Yes, you are. That's yes, just the are. facts, like it or not. Mm-hmm. But uh, to be a champion, we got to learn the why, the whys, the hows, the you know, right, and, and right, all of right, that. Right. So first, let's start with this. What's the definition of endure? Mm-hmm. Now, listen to this very carefully. Okay. To continue, to continue mm. without sinking. I'm going to use my hands, okay, (laughs) without sinking (laughs) to pressure. Pressure will cause you to sink. Yes. But to endure, you want to continue on even though there's pressure. Right, right. Another uh, uh, definition is to remain firm while under misfortune, not Mm -hmm. giving in or quitting when pressure comes, but to maintain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you know that love endures? Yes, it does. And 1 Corinthians 13, so God endures. Right, right. Right, so we know that. We also know that Jesus endured the cross. cross. Yes, he did. So he didn't sink to pressure. No. He could have quit or sunk. Right, You know. right. And he didn't. Aren't you glad? I'm glad. Thank God. We're going to go to heaven. We're going to heaven, We get the glory now and all of the things that come with it. Right. So if Jesus endured, we can endure. Mm. But we need to know more about it. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, we're called to endure. Yeah, okay, so Second Timothy 2, 3 through 4, okay. this is Amplify. Okay. Take with me your share of the hardships and suffering which you are called to endure mm. as a good first-class soldier of Christ Jesus. No soldier when in service gets entangled in the enterprises mm-hmm. of civilian life. His aim, his purpose is to satisfy and please the one who enlisted him. Right. So if you think about that, we are called to endure as a good first class soldier. So when soldiers enlist, Mm -hmm. they know there's going to be enduring. Mm -hmm. 
And thank God a lot of our soldiers endured, even though there were tragic things that happened. You know, maybe a friend or somebody getting Mm -hmm. killed, but they endured and and, and, and finished the mission. Mm -hmm. How many times has that happened? That's the first class. That's in the Bible that we are to called, enlisted to endure. Okay. So we know this. Now, the Lord said something to me that I'm going to share with you. Hmm. And and if you uh, trust me, it's from heaven. I'm not smart enough to come up with this. <laughs> All right. I had many uh, ministers come up to me who have seen me or heard me preach it mm-hmm. and say, that has to be from heaven. I go, I know, because number one, I'm not smart enough to, you know, right, right. To, to, to come up Thank with Thank God it. for the Holy but Spirit. But we're going to see this in heaven and you're going to go, oh, Chip, you were right. And, and they're going to point at it because... Uh-huh. I'm telling you it's from heaven. (laughs) He showed me two charts. And it was, I don't know if it was a mini vision, if I just saw it in the spirit or what. Mm -hmm. But in prayer, I I saw these charts. Mm -hmm. Now, why he showed me charts? And he said, my people, so whoever's listening, Mm -hmm. you're one of these two. Your life is one of these two charts. Mm -hmm. Now, it needs to be one, the one that he has created us to be. Right, right. But here's our life and the tendencies. So the first chart he showed me was it went up. Like like a, a graph, like a bar graph, like a, a business. Yeah. This month, and then there was, you know, it went down, and then went up, and then it went down, and then went up, and went down. So the whole year it looked like this. It went up and down, and up and down. And so when I looked closer, I saw the word pressure. So yeah. the word pressure was mm-hmm. the peak where it stopped the the up, mm-hmm. and it went down. Pressure made it go down. Right, right. So immediately I thought about that definition to continue without sinking right. to pressure. Right. So I was watching this chart of a person's life. So this is a year. Mm. This is January to December. And so things would go good, things are going, and then pressure comes and they would sink. Right. And then they would get lifted back up through a word, maybe through th- this, you know, this television, this telecast that Brother Copeland's putting on and, and prophetic witness and, and all of these things. Yeah. Oh, man. And they lift you back up. Yeah. Or maybe it was a, a, a sermon or a song on the radio, or maybe it was somebody praying for you. Right. But thank God for all these things. And it gets you back up. And then pressure comes again and you go down. Mm. And now here's what the Lord said to me. And I could sense his not disappointment, but uh, yeah. his heart. Right. Just, ugh. Right. This is not how I created you. No. He said, look where they started and look where they ended. Mm, and they go year after year wow. after year wow. after year no. the same. No. And the Lord says, I created you to go from faith to faith to faith. Yes. From glory, glory to, to glory, glory to glory. Yeah. Whether it's prosperity, whether it's peace, whether it's joy, whether we should go higher. Mm-hmm. But the part we don't understand mm-hmm. is the enduring. Mm. So pressure causes us to fall. Now, right. Brother Copeland told me one time he saw me or, uh, you know, preach this mm-hmm. or heard me somehow. And he said, the problem with living that way up and down is that the enemy can kill you on the way mm-hmm. down. That's when you give him place. Right. He's seeking whom he may steal, kill, and destroy. Right. And that's right. he but he can't do it here. No. No. He can't do it as you're you're right. growing. So right. that think about that year after year, and then at the end of the year, you're mm. the same. You're the same. Your faith hasn't grown. If, if I Nothing. was listen, my background's coaching. If I had that as my resume. A college or professional team is going to fire me mm-hmm. after a couple of years. There's no productivity. You understand that? Right, Even the right, right. world knows that's right, not right. Right. So the other chart that he showed me. Yeah. What, and he said, this is the chart of a champion. Mm-hmm. Ah, this is the chart of a champion. And I'm like, okay, this is the one I'm supposed to have. Right. Now, that this doesn't mean I've always had like. this one. Yeah. So it, it, the being, here's the different chart. Here's the champion chart. At the beginning of the year, it went up and pressure came and it did and it stopped. Pressure stopped this one. Mm. Even the champion has pressures. Right. Every Christian Everybody. pressure comes. Everybody. He said, but this one didn't go down and it didn't continue up. It went flat. Mm. And he said, that part right there yeah. is the enduring part. Glory. He to said, God. that part right there is when you stay and you remain. And yeah. you cling on. 
Yeah. That part it's right good. there so is good. when you continue mm. your confessions. Right. And right. No, you're not right. moved. We talked about yeah. composure. Mm -hmm. You're not moved by what you see. Yeah. You, feel, yeah. you could go down, but right. you don't. Right. And because of that, he says, because of that enduring, you mature and you bust through and uh -huh. you get your breakthrough. Praise he God. He said yeah. to me, when you endure, you mature. Ooh, I like I, that. I, you know, God yeah. can rhyme. He can, you know. I mean, <laughs> I know there's smart. Dr. Seuss, but God, yeah, yeah. yeah he's way, pretty he smart. was there way before him. Uh -huh. him. So, so he said, when you endure, you mature. Well, maturing. Yeah. Going okay. up in God. And so I saw this and it went up. And then pressure came and they endured and they get their victory. Mm -hmm. And 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 then, and then pressure comes again. And then uh, they endure again, but they remember that and they've, yeah. they've gotten yeah. experience yeah. And, yeah. And, and they go up. So it ended up looking like a stair step. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, if you look at both of them, both of them had pressure. Right. Right. But one of them decided and, and to endure right. and not to sink. Mm. But to continue what they knew, continue in their faith, yeah. continue in what they believed right. in, continue right. in the word, yeah. not moved by what they see, mm -hmm. not moved by what they hear. They're continuing. And so that is good news to know yes. that if you're enduring right now, right. your breakthrough is coming. Right. And don't I mean, it's coming. Don't give up. Just don't quit. Mm -mm. I remember Jerry Seville saying quitting is not mm -mm. an option. No. And so... Uh, what chart are you? What chart would you want to mm. be? So now look at the both of the charts. You look at them from a, you back up and go, well, they, they ended up in the same place. Well, this one had pressure too, but look where it ended. Mm -hmm. Way up Progress. here. Progress. Progress. Think about that. And yeah. we should not be the same this yeah. time next year, next right. month, right. next week, yeah. tomorrow, whatever. Right. But we should grow. That's yeah. We were created to yeah. grow. We were yeah. created to prosper. Yes. And so we go off the charts. It's That's time to the... go off the charts. Amen. And the Amen. only way to go off the charts is to understand the enduring part. Mm. But mm -hmm. you get to endure. Right. And and we're going to find out about this. And it's interesting. A doctor was talking to me about the, the chart. He, he saw me and he said something about it. it's called ventricular tachycardia. Mm. That, that, that's where you get the paddles. If you have this chart in the uh -huh. natural, that means death. On your heart. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they also called it lethal arrhythmia. And they uh -huh. said that is a very dangerous pattern. So think yeah. about that. Yeah. I mean. Even right. in the natural, that's death. Right, right. And, and spiritual, so spiritual, to live that way thing. could be death. So I said, Lord, if you said this cute rhyme that is so powerful, endure to mature, where is it scripturally? Right. And that's what you should do. And that's what I've been learning. I learned that from Brother Hagin to mom to uh -huh. pass down. And so he gave me Romans 5, 3 through 4. Okay. okay? And I'm going to read it in the Amplified. Moreover, let us also be full of joy now. Be full of joy now. now. Okay, now think now. about this, people. When I, I remember hearing this when I was a kid. I, why would I want to be full of joy now? I'm not happy. I'm yeah, in a right. bad situation. Right, right. I've had a bad thing happen to me. Right. But it says now. Mm -hmm. Let us exalt and trouble in our troubles. Let us exalt and trouble in our troubles. Who does that? <laughs> no oh, one. Oh, trouble. Yay, we're so happy. Yeah. No, well, who no. does that? No one. And no rejoice one. in our suff rejoice in uh -huh. our suffering. See, that doesn't make sense. But here's here's what the Lord showed me. He said the key word is knowing. Mm -hmm. That's the next word in this verse. Let us be full of joy now. Let us uh, exult and triumph in our troubles, rejoice in our sufferings, knowing. Mm -hmm. He said joy is what you know. The dancing and the rejoicing are results of joy. Right. Joy right. is what you know. Yes. And because you know that that pressure and affliction, I'm continuing to read, and hardship produce right. patience and an oh, unswerving yes. endurance. Yes. Now watch yes, the next yes, verse. Yes, yes, And this endurance is going to develop maturity. Oh, in glory character, to God. there it is. It's going to. Uh, so when you when you yeah. uh, endure, uh -huh. it says it right here. You mature. It produces endurance, and this endurance produces maturity. Yeah. When you endure, you mature, and yeah. you will mature in character, which in the Greek means approved faith, already uh -huh. passed uh -huh. the test. Right. Faith, already passed the test. Yeah. You passed the test. Yes. You went through it. You got to the other side. You, the test. Bring it on. That Come means on. I go to the next level. Yeah. Well, there's some people that may be out there going, I don't like tests. I don't want to go through tests. Uh, 
Well, well then stay in first grade. <laughs> yeah, now, how basically. would you feel if you were in first grade at your age right now, at your age and size, mm -hmm. how would you feel if you got a letter from Miss Johnson's first grade class and that you got to show up the the next day uh -huh. with your glue and your crayons and your and you go in Number there and you got it. It's very embarrassing. You get in the little seat. Think Can't about it. Just picture seat. it. Mm -hmm. And all those kids who are going to be real are going to go. You're old. You're big. Why are uh -huh. you here? You're yeah. going to hear that. Yeah. And so it's going to be awkward. Now we laugh at that. Mm -hmm. But you want to know how true that is spiritually? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a spiritual fact. There it are is. Christians that are in first grade. Wow. Wow. I because don't we don't want to pass the test. Right. So, and if you know that you can pass the test, right. then I can mature. Mm -hmm. And it's going to develop right. a maturity of mm -hmm. character. It's going yeah. to develop me and my self-control yeah. and my fruits of the Spirit. Right. It's right. going to develop me mm -hmm. to better, to better, to better. You know what I'm faith saying? Faith to faith. Each faith to faith. Each test is going to help me. Yeah. Can I add this yeah. here? You know, we don't like to go through tests, no. but it's the very thing that helps you grow in your faith. The word of God says oh. from faith to faith, glory to glory. Well, you don't go from faith to faith, to glory to glory without having to stand in faith. Yeah. If you don't stand for something according to the word of God, then you're never going to grow in the word of God. So the only way that you can mature or go from faith to faith, glory to glory is to go through these situations, endure through those situations, not the cat hanging on, but the you enduring to. to know that I know that you God's got to. my back. Oh, we're He's enduring. got me and I am going to go over, go through this. Just go through yes. it. Yes. Yeah. James 1, 2 through 4. Here's okay. the other one. James uh, 1. This is King James. I'm going to read you four versions. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this. See, the knowing, knowing. always follows this. That the trying of your faith worketh patience, and the patience have her perfect work. Perfect means mature. Mm -hmm. So that you may be entire, wanting and lacking nothing. Glory so count it joy when, when you, because you know that yeah. you know that this is going to happen. All right, let's look yeah. at the Amplify. Uh, James 1 through 2 of the Amplify. Consider it wholly joyful, my brethren, whenever you're enveloped or encounter trials of any sort. Be assured and understand that the trial and proving of your faith, the proving of your faith, bring mm. out endurance and steadfastness and patience. And let endurance and steadfastness and patience have its full play. Mm. Let it do its full work mm -hmm. so that you may be people mature, lacking nothing. Can I add something yeah. here? If you go back and look at that, but let endurance and steadfast and patience have full play or full work. A lot of times we don't allow our faith to have its full play or its full work. Mm -hmm. We'll be enduring. You'll hit that pressure. Oh, this time I'm going to endure. This time I'm going to do it. And you'll go a little bit. And then all of a sudden, if something else hits you and you drop off. And you're not allowing your faith to have its full work. Right. You're not allowing it to come to the fullness and of God. And that endurance is in you now. It it's is. A, it's a fruit it of the Spirit, and it's in you. It's a product of the Holy Spirit. And when you got born again, it's in you. It's there, okay? Yeah. So it's yeah. not about how to get it. It's how to, It's about how to release it. Yeah. So uh, let's go to New Living Translation of James 1, 2. Mm -hmm. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it and opportunity for great mm, joy. I like Consider that. it an opportunity for great joy. Right. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance right. to grow. Your so endurance good. has a chance to grow. So our enduring uh -huh. should grow. Mm -hmm. Our enduring should grow. Right. Right. Each test, it should grow. Yeah. Just like a child going from first to second to third. Yeah. They grow, yeah. they grow, yeah. they yeah. grow, they grow. And so let it grow. So when you, <laughs> yeah. uh, when your endurance is fully developed, Yes. You'll be perfect and complete and mature, needing and lacking nothing. I love it. And love I love it. this one, the message. Consider it a sheer gift. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. What did I get? What did you get me? Test and challenges from all sides. Oh, that's what I wanted. Oh, yay. I mean, think about this. That could be silly to somebody who doesn't know. Doesn't know but if God. you know that chart, mm -mm. it says you know that under pressure, your faith is forced into the open and it shows its true colors. This is what Candy yeah. was talking about. Yeah. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Ooh, Let good. it do its work so you become mature, well-developed, and not deficient in any mm. way. That's what a champion is. I love that at the end, not deficient in any way. 
We want to get to that place in our lives yes. that no matter what we go through, that we're able to rise up and not be deficient in any way. No, yes. Yeah, to stand That's on the, the word. That's the champion church. That's the yeah. glorious church. Yeah. Now, if we're ready for this, listen to this. If you're ready, okay. I'm uh, ready. for a harvest, because this is what's going to happen. You're going to receive harvest uh-huh. when you live this life. This is Luke 8, 14 through 15. The seeds that fell among the thorns represent those who hear the message. But all too quickly, the message is crowded out by the cares and riches Uh and the pleasures of life. And so they never grow into maturity. Mm -hmm. They never grow off the, they never grow. Here they are. Right. Are y'all with me? Hopefully you're with me. Yeah. And the seeds that fell on good soil represent honest, good-hearted people who hear Mm -hmm. God's word. Mm -hmm. Now watch this one. And they cling to it. They are Klingons. They cling <laughs> to it, and yeah. patiently they produce a huge harvest. Oh, if so you cling good. on to that word, yes, yes, yes. You see yes. what I'm saying? Yeah, I see you what you're will, saying. This is a promise. This is in the word. Yeah. You will produce a huge Glory harvest. Glory to God. It says it right Glory there. Glory to God. So you think about those yeah. charts. You yeah. cling on to His word. Uh-uh, yeah. I'm healed by His right, stripes. Right. First Peter two twenty four says, yeah. "I was, and if I was, I am." You I'm cling staying on. With that. I'm you're staying with going it. to. You're going yep. to mature. Exactly. Exactly. You understand that? And we're uh-huh. going to. And then by the end of the year, look where you've gone. You've yeah. went from another grade to another grade yeah. to another grade. Yeah. Yeah. So pressure is an opportunity to to mature. It's yes. an opportunity to get to the next level. Yeah. It's an opportunity yeah. for a huge harvest right. to have the best year we've ever had. Right. Uh, to fulfill our callings, yeah. to be our to, uh, as a first class soldier of the Lord. Right, right. And uh, there's more good news. Second Timothy three eleven. Mm-hmm. God is not let, let, ha- letting you hang out there by no. yourself. No, He's going to help you. Yeah. And so uh, this is what Paul said: persecutions, afflictions. This is Second uh, Timothy three eleven. Nice. Pers- in the uh, King James, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me in Antioch, all of these places, Lystra, all these places. Uh, as I endured them, but out of all of them, the Lord delivered me. Mm. I I had to endure these right. pressures, right. and I had to endure these situations. Yeah. But of all of them, the Lord delivered me. It's almost like it's saying in that scripture, "I got your if back." If you endure. I can deliver you. Yeah, I got your back. If you can endure, if you can stand on that word and and continue to stand on the word, I can deliver you. But if you don't stand on the word, you give up and you start to go down, God can't help us. He wants to help us. He wants to be there for us. And sometimes he rescues us out of the goodness and the grace of his heart going down, but he wants us to grow and mature. And so as that scripture said, he can help us. So if we want God to help us, we have to do our part. Oh, we have to. We have to do our part. We have to get in there and we say, you know what? Will. I'm not moved. I'm not moved. Just like we said in last episode, Smith Wigglesworth, I'm not moved by what I see. It's all about not being moved, get, ha, holding your composure, enduring, all about not being moved, only moved by the word of God. And it's like a song that I sang last, last time. Mm-hmm. That mom used to sing, uh, the word is working mightily in me. Yeah. yeah. The word is working mightily in me. Now she's going, yeah. she was under pressure. Right. She's doing no this right now. matter what the circumstance that. or what I feel or mm-hmm. see, the word is working yeah. mightily in yeah. me. Thank what God. was she doing? She so right was there. clinging right on, there. <laughs> clinging on, clinging on. <laughs> Holding on to the promises. What was Brother Jerry Savelle doing? Quitting's not an option. Nope. Going down to pressure is not an nope. option. Nope, nope, nope. And you will bust through. You'll pass the test. Harvest. Approved faith. It's called in the Greek, dokio faith. Yeah. And you passed, already yeah. passed the test. So good. And that's a champion. So good. And that champion is in you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Aren't you glad? I'm so glad. I, I'm, I'm a so Christian. Glad. This I'm is so a great glad. message. Yeah, it's a great message. It's a great message. And so we're, gl- we're glad to share it with you. And uh, don't leave us. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're so glad you have joined us. Oh, my gosh. Is this not the greatest message? I mean, this is what we need to do to get to where we need to be in, yeah, in right. Christ Jesus. Right. I mean, it's all about enduring so that we can be the witness for God. That's we what we're called to do. We don't have to endure. We get to. We get to. Yeah. It's such a blessing. Hey, we just wanted to remind you about the c for c Youth Rally. It's July 14th through the 18th. And I know it's November, but you got to start planning. 
Go ahead and start planning. Go ahead and get pastors. If you're out there listening, look, go online, look at it. It's one of my favorite events of the year it's to see over a thousand youth come and they just rush the stage ready to worship God. They're trained. And they're trained. There's no watering down. They're, nope. We don't water anything down. It's so good. But we would like to invite you. This year is our 25th year. Uh, think about it. We've been doing this 25 years. And we've years. had Brother Copeland. So blessed. We've had Jerry Savelle. Yeah. Billy Brim still speaks at it. I speak at uh-huh. it. Candace speaks at it. Nate Schlegel. Nate uh-huh. and uh, Kylie speaks yes. at it. And this year we get blessed with Nancy Dufresne yes. is going to speak at it. Yes. So she's excited about coming and speaking to this next generation. Don't miss out. Something huge is going to happen on yeah. this one. This twenty fifth. So much about. prayers behind it. So if you know any youth, come. Uh, and we also have a um, what is this? A video See, for, podcast. Uh, podcast. Yeah. yeah. And to video help, podcast. If you know any youth and they want training, like you've been hearing. They can go to C4C365. So what where, where you go get it is championsforchrist.org. Mm-hmm. Okay? That's yeah. champions with yeah. an S. Yeah. Right? Yes. For, number four, uh-huh. Christ. Christ.org. Dot org. Yeah. And so, it's all about training the next generation. And that's what we need is training. See you next week.